What is up, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Xenonauts 2 is a crazy game. It's got so much depth and tactical, like, prep and preparing. And how you go into a battle and how you prepare can matter so much. So I want to talk about a few things to look for in your loadouts and on your soldiers when you're starting out, getting ready for your first battle. What kits to use, what loadouts to use, what gear. Looking at some stats to optimize soldiers. Now do keep in mind, you don't have to do any of this. You can keep it all the way the game has it, and you should be relatively okay. But if you're looking to min-max or get a little more value out of your guys, this video might be for you. One of the first things you want to look at is your current uh, squad on the Skyhawk. You got, you know, shield, two assaults, rifle, and, you know, whatever you have here. And the game has other kits for you. A couple you're not using. You know, there's no heavy, there's no grenadier here. So we got two that we're not using on the list. Now, you can swap these easily by clicking that. You don't got to fiddle with all this. You just hit that and their loadout will change. Now, curious thing, you look at your sniper here. Now, he, he's good. He's good. He's got good accuracy, all this stuff. His weight, he has a lot of weight. He is, he can carry so much more than what he has. Meanwhile, this rifleman is actually over by one. On He's over by one weight. He's being penalized. So what I want to do is I want to swap him to a sniper. I want one sniper. He's going to become the sniper. Now he's got more free, more weight. He's good. He still has good accuracy, just like this sniper. So, you know, they're both at 61. But I want to take this sniper. And I either want to consider making him a heavy, which he can do because he has the weight. Or I want to make him a, a grenadier. He can't do grenadier, but he can do a heavy. So now we have a heavy. And it's very important you pay attention to carry weight because that is going to, if you go over that, you're going to get negatives, and that's bad. Another thing you want to pay attention to is are you going to put armor on people? Because if you put armor on, you're going to suffer accuracy penalties. This isn't that big of a deal, but it is in two ways. Armor will increase your weight, which will cause you to go over, which will give you more penalties. But armor generally itself just decreases accuracy, but now we lost time units because we're big, fat, heavy, and slow. Be aware of that. Time units are very important, and if you lower them, you're just going to make your life miserable. You need to have, I mean, you can maybe lose a few, but that going down from 50 to 35, that is not worth it. So this guy is a heavy. He has no armor, which is kind of, kind of like silly, right? Well, he's going to be a suppressive unit anyway. He's going to be further back, maybe mid-range. So hopefully he'll be okay. Your front line, like assault classes that have shotguns, you want them to have armor because they're going to be the closest to the aliens. Same thing with your shield guy. He's going to be close to the aliens too. So those are kind of the ones you want to have it. Sniper, you never want to put armor on generally because they're going to go overweight and then they're, they're already penalized on accuracy from that too. So be mindful of that. Look through your other guys, you know, so we got 70 weight, 83. This guy could become something else. We don't need a generic rifleman. They're good to have. They're kind of like your just bread and butter throwaway troops, you know, so they're not useless. But what about Grenadier? Ah, there we go. We got a Grenadier now. Can't give him armor, though. But the Grenadier has a grenade launcher. It's going to be lobbing grenades. Accuracy is important with a 51 accuracy, though. How accurate are those grenades going to be? See, now this is all stuff you want to look for when you're setting up a class. If you don't take this into consideration, you're either A, going to be frustrated, B, be disappointed, or C, just be angry because your guy isn't doing what you expected him to do. 51 is literally middle of the road for accuracy, I would say. I don't know if it's great for a Grenadier. Luckily, it does have explosions. You know, the grenades do explode, so we can take that in consideration. Even if he isn't a direct hit, as long as it's within the vicinity, we can get some damage in. So, I, do I have anybody else that can be a Grenadier? Ooh, this guy with 55. Okay, maybe him. So, we'll swap you out. We'll, we'll put you back to a Rifleman. Let's have you be a Grenadier. You sound, whoops, you sound way better. You got way more weight capacity, too. Look at that. Could you wear armor? Aw, oh, nope. No armor. Okay, Grenadier. There we go. Nice. Ah. Ah, see? Common mistake. When I was looking at the 55, I was taking the bonus that was provided by this. The tactical module. Can we give him a tactical module? Let's see. Is it possible? Module. Tactical. Throw it in. We can at the cost of time units. How much do we lose? Not... It's not a, not a lot. We go down... We lose five, but we gain our accuracy back that we lost. 
which I'm okay with. I'm okay losing five units and gaining uh, gaining the accuracy. Almost pretty much evens out. I pretty much trade five five time units for four accuracy, which I think matters. So it it is okay to go over to a little bit to a degree. So don't be afraid to go over. You know, you got to kind of just feel it out and see what's right for you. So we're gonna have him be that. And then we're pretty much good. So we at least have a Grenadier. We at least have a Heavy. We have one of every class that the game pre-makes. So we have six. And I feel like that's good. Unless you're going to have throwaway units as riflemen that are just fodder. You got the newbie, you know, the rookie. Hey, man, you're going to go right out there, man. Here's a shotgun. Just pray, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's what your riflemen generally are. So you want more specialized. And obviously you're going to get more equipment and more weapons. You know, smoke grenades are really nice to protect your guys. Try to give people smoke grenades if you can. You know, there's everything in the starting arsenal is pretty darn useful. So do keep all of that in mind. And you don't have to have everybody with a med kit either. Make sure you got a couple med kits. Generally, the riflemen are probably going to have them. A lot of the classes have secondary pistols, which may or may not be useful. Uh, you could easily swap that out with something else. That just depends on you. But you know you go with what you want to do there really is no total wrong answer and there is no total right answer everybody's situation is going to be different but hopefully hopefully this video gives you an idea on what to look for to kind of min max your guys and like i said keep in mind this is subject to change the stats parameters on the gear all that stuff can change and i could be totally wrong on all this in a week a month who knows how long so take it with a grain of salt to an extent too and as always thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or comments drop them down below i'll try my best to help out anybody that's new and has questions about this kind of stuff in the game and i thank you so much for watching i do hope to see you in the next one until then later guys peace out have a good one